Hey friends, today I'm taking my workspace to the next level with a killer upgrade. I'm unboxing the AOC CU34 P3CV, a sleek 34 inch curved ultrawide, and doubling my screen real estate for insane productivity and epic gaming sessions. Let's dive in. I've been rocking a single ultrawide for a while, but if you ask me, more is always better. So I went all in, adding a second AOC 34 inch monitor at 100Hz. Now my desktop is a powerhouse of productivity and gaming. Stick around as I show you the unboxing and reveal how this setup is a game changer, both for work and play. Let's get hyped with the unboxing. Check out this box, sleek, modern and hinting at the premium experience inside. Inside you'll find a well protected monitor, a robust stand, all the essential cables including a USB cable that packs up to 65 watts of power delivery and a quick start guide that gets you up and running in no time. And here it is, the AOC CU34 P3 CV itself. Look at the sleek design. We've got a three sided frameless bezel here which is going to look amazing in a dual setup and check out that curve, it's a 1500R curvature which should really help with immersion. It's a VA panel so we can expect some deep blacks and some great contrast. Around the back we've got the ports and you can see the built in speakers, 5 watts on each side. Plus there's a USB hub with the USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports for extra connectivity and a really cool feature USB-C connectivity with DP alt mode and up to 65 watts power delivery. That's super useful if you're connecting a laptop. My first impressions are really positive, this looks like a quality piece of kit. Now for the easy part, setting it up next to its brother, I've already got one 34 inch monitor here so it's just a matter of connecting up the new AOC monitor. I'm going to use the display board cable making sure my graphics card has an available output. Now setting up the two 34 inch monitors to act as one massive 68 inch monitor is pretty straightforward. As I've got an Nvidia graphics card, I just go into the Nvidia app, go into system, my rig, as you can see I'm running with 32 gigs of RAM, click on Nvidia control panel, go to the setup multiple displays option and make sure you click on surround display. And under surround spanning options, make sure you've got your graphics card selected. And here you can see that it's recognized my two monitors. And once you've confirmed all these details, you're going to be ready to play at 6880 by 1440 which is an absolute mind-boggling number. Alright, and there we have it, two 34 inch monitors side by side. I'm just going to quickly align the top edges for a cleaner look. Remember, when you're setting up dual monitors, it's important to position them at arm's length distance and at a height that prevents neck strain. Now, let's talk productivity. This is where having two 34 inch monitors really shines. The immediate benefit is the sheer amount of screen real estate you gain. No more constantly resizing windows or tabbing between applications. I can have my writing document open on one screen and all my research materials on the other. It makes writing articles like this so much more efficient. I can also keep my email and communications tools open on one display while working on spreadsheets or presentations on the other. For those of you who are into creative work like video editing, having timeline and project files on one screen and the preview window and editing tools on the other is a massive workflow improvement. Windows Snap Assist and Mac OS Windows management features make it super easy to organize everything across both screens. And if you really want to get organized, you can dive into virtual desktops. Honestly, going from one to two of these has completely streamlined my workflow. The 21 to 9 aspect ratio of each monitor gives you so much horizontal space to work with. And thanks to the USB-C docking, my laptop charges while transferring data, less clutter, more hype. This isn't just about more screen space, it's about creating an environment that lets you work smarter and faster. And trust me, when you double your screens, you double your efficiency. And for those who game hard, the impact is unreal, a 100Hz refresh rate and an immersive 21 by 9 aspect ratio on both monitors means every frame is crisp and every detail is in view. It's a great setup for having your main game on one screen while keeping an eye on your live chat or strategy on the other. You're basically having your cake and eating it too. Ultimate immersion with no compromises. Now, no setup is perfect so let's keep it real, there are a few things to consider. Let's address the elephant in the room and that's the bezel gap. This is the space where the edges of the two monitors meet and it can notably impact your gaming experience. When gaming across two monitors, the bezel gap sits right in your line of sight, potentially breaking immersion and making gameplay less enjoyable. For instance, in first person shooters, having the crosshairs aligned with the bezel can be particularly distracting. But me personally, as I'm using this setup for casual gaming, it's not a problem. 
If it really bothers you, there's products like the Asus ROG Bezel Free Kit. This uses optical wizardry to refract light, creating the illusion of a seamless display by making the bezels less noticeable. Desk space. These monitors are big. Make sure your desk can handle the hype. Cable management. More screens means more cables. Invest in some good cable management. System requirements. Running dual ultrawides. You'll need a beefy graphics card. I'm rolling with a RTX 4070. Potential distractions. With so much screen real estate, it can be tempting to open too many apps. Discipline is key. But honestly, these are small trade-offs compared to the massive gains in productivity and immersion. So if you're ready to level up your workspace and gaming experience, then adding a second AOC CU34P3CV monitor might just be the upgrade you need. Drop a comment below, are you team dual monitors or do you keep it minimal? Smash that like button, subscribe for more tech hype and ring that bell so you never miss an upgrade. Until next time, stay hyped and keep working from the hype.